Hi guys, Mr. this is Mr. Holding and I'm doing inv investigation 8.5 from Jack Plus, which is in chapter 8.2. Um, so this is looking at mapping the magnetic field of a magnet. So we know that magnets have poles. We have a north end and a south end. Okay, and we know that the norths repel each other, uh, the souths repel each other, and opposites, of course, attract. All right, but why do they do that? Well, the reason was they have magnetic um, field lines. Okay, and we're going to look at mapping this. So we've got our two magnets. We've got our OH, um, overhead projector, um, or a clear piece of paper, a uh, clear piece of plastic, and then we've got iron filings. And we know that iron filings are magnetic because we did that experiment recently showing that iron things are magnetic. Okay, so we're going to start off with a single magnet. Okay, um, and you may have to hold this. Okay, um, and we're just going to sprinkle like you do with um, your salt or pepper and you're going to sprinkle them around and you can start to see magnetic field lines that start to appear and we can see them rating out and you can see patterns start to occur okay you're going to do the experiment so I won't spend too long showing you but first of all we're just going to do it with one okay then what we're going to do be careful not to lose it all because they're obviously going to go everywhere we're going to put two ends that want or uh, two like poles together and we're going to see how that what kind of lines those kind of those affect so you want to see how these all clump see what you can do but you can see that the patterns have changed okay obviously you can spend a bit again you can spend a bit more time but you can start to see that the, the, the magnetic field lines have changed on account of the two, the two poles are coming together. And then finally, if I can get them apart, is we're going to do the same thing with like poles. Now obviously this is going to be a bit tough because they're going to want to attract. So if you can get them close enough without actually pulling together, you can see that the field lines are very different again. Okay, so we've got three different types. We've just got the, we're we gonna try the single magnet, two like poles, and then opposite poles. Okay, in addition to that, you're going to use these documents here. You'll get a copy of each of, the, of this, which is you draw, the, connect the dots. So with a pen, draw, connect all the ones, connect all the twos, connect all the threes, all the fours, and so on, all the way through. And then, based on your observations with the magnets and the uh, iron filings, you're going to label whether this one, these are like poles or opposite poles, and whether these are like poles or opposite poles based on their magnetic field lines. So you should be able to look at these field lines here based on what you saw from our um, little experiment here with the magnets and the iron filings and you should be able to tell which of those um, is like poles and which are opposite poles okay and obviously the force of attraction is strong between the two all right find this useful have a good day